The legendary McLaren F1 road car was unveiled in 1994 to world acclaim, but initially sales were slow because of the recession. So quite soon after it had conceived the mighty F1, McLaren concentrated on turning it into a racing car, and they called it the F1 GTR. Amazingly, it won on its debut at Le Mans in 1995. A few years later, demand for the road car got stronger, so one or two of the race cars were turned back into road cars. And this one is the most famous of the lot. It's owned by Pink Floyd's very famous drummer, Nick Mason. It's the first car that McLaren turned from a racing car back into a road car. It's actually chassis number 10 of the racing cars, and it is insured, very deep breath, for 2.5 million pounds. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that this is a pretty special piece of kit. But at the centre of the F1 and the F1 GTR is its engine, which is a 6.1 litre V12, which was designed by a chap called Paul Roche from BMW. And, well, the term bulletproof comes to mind. It is an absolute powerhouse. The other thing you need to remember about the F1 is its weight. The road car weighed just over 1,100 kilograms. This one, because it's also stripped out, it weighs 940 kilograms. It's also geared to max at 180, not 240 as in the road car. Those three things, 620 horsepower, 940 kilograms, and super short gearing. Well, I just can't quite get my brains around how exciting this thing must be to drive. And I now am going to go and do so. Right, this is the moment of truth. The moment I've been waiting 14 years for. So, ignition on, start button. The engine catches and it's already quite loud. It's got a carbon clutch, so you don't need any revs at all. Just put it in first gear and let the clutch out slowly. And away we go. Wow. about to find out. Beside me here is the editor of Autocar, Chaz Hallett, in a Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, a very fast normal road car. What we're going to do, I'm in fourth gear, Chaz is in fourth gear, I'm going to give him a second advantage, we're going to do a rolling start from about 35-40 miles an hour and we're going to see what's going to happen. He's off. And now I'm off. There's a very small red dot in the mirror and there's a man frowning in it. There is a slightly more serious side to what we've done here today though and that is that McLaren has a new road car out in a couple of months time and I have to say if it captures so much as a thimbleful of the soul and excitement of this thing it should be fantastic. There's just one more thing I need to do though before we disappear. 